Hey guys, this is Sonali, the Melodramatic Bookworm. Welcome back to my channel. Here's wishing every woman out there a very, very happy International Women's Day. I know that we need to celebrate ourselves more over the year rather than only on one particular day. But I think we are awesome and I think we deserve a day dedicated just to us in all the 365, 366 days over the year. Before we get on with this video, I just like to say that I make book related videos on this channel and occasionally a few travel related and a few movie related videos as well. So if you like what you see and you would like to keep up with my content, then don't forget to hit subscribe and click on the bell icon so that you can stay updated as and when I upload new videos. And to people who are returning to my channel, a big thank you for coming back and for staying with me, for sticking by me. And to people who are new to my channel, welcome, welcome to the Melodramatic family. So for this Women's Day, I asked a few amazing booktubers and bookstagrammers who are women who to help me put together a video in which we talk about our favorite women authors because we need to spread that love I will leave the links to all of their social media down in the description box below and you should go and give them a follow, subscribe to them on YouTube because they are awesome and I love what they do and once you go and see what the kind of work that they are doing, I am sure that you will love them too. So please go show them all the love because they deserve it and so much more. So in this video, we have some amazing women booktubers and bookstagrammers talk about their favorite authors and their favorite authors books and why they love those authors so before we get on with this video i just like to say a big thank you to everyone who contributed it means the world to me and especially on international women's day to talk about such a topic i'm so as is a norm with collaboration videos on this channel, I will talk about my favorite women authors at the end of this video. Towards the end of this video, we are going to hear what these amazing women have to say first. So stay tuned and enjoy this video because there's a lot of good stuff coming your way. Hey you guys, my name is Anshir and I'm from Libra Review. Thank you so much Sonali and I'm so happy that Sonali made me a part of this. So I'm going to be talking about the two female authors that I love in the world. I've divided them by Indian and international uh, categories. So yeah. So first of all, I would love to talk about You Do You by Sarah Knight. So Sarah Knight is the international author that I am in love with. Don't get me wrong, there are so many other authors I'm in love with, but I'm just going to like talk about the top ones right now. And Sarah Knight does top the list because of her writing style. It's so candid. She's always herself when she's writing stuff. It's so practical. It's no jibber jabber here and there. And at the same time, it's just so uh, self-empowering. So I've not only read this book, I have read other books by her too, other three books, which are again about almost about self-empowerment. And I love them. I love them so, so much. Her way of empowering people is different because she never just tells anybody what to do and stuff like that. She just tells you to be you and accept yourself and in that way have the best life ever and when we come to an indian author i love chitra banji deva karuni and the forest of enchantments has a special place in my heart i have read the palace of illusions by the same author but this book has a special place in my heart both heart both these books um, are the retelling of that is of mahabharata this is of ramayana from the C from sita's uh, point of view first of all i love this idea secondly the way she has written this book the writing style is so binding how can you not just like read ahead i mean you cannot put this book down and it's only because of her writing style which is so engrossing and emotional so yes it is sarah knight and chitra banerjee deva karani for me Hey guys, it's Avni from the YouTube channel Books Amaze where I talk a lot about books and thank you so much Sonali for this collaboration. I absolutely adore you and your videos and especially I love the way you handle your bookstagram account. That is like bookstagram goals for me. And I'm talking about my favorite female author. Um, I know that it's a very unconventional choice but it's Anne Frank because of the book The Diary of a Young Girl. And I know that she is not or she was not a proper author who has like written several books per se. But there's just one book that she has written, which was actually her diary, which she wrote when she and her family were hiding from the Nazis 
in the Holocaust time, in the Second World War time, um, this one book, this diary has had a very, very deep impact on me. And this is like one of my top favorites of all the time. And it still amazes me that how could such a young girl write so well in such a horrific time. And I love her writing even more because of the fact that while she was writing this diary, she did not have any media related influence whatsoever at that time. Um, I think they only had a radio on which they used to listen to the news, but they didn't have any television. They could not read. I mean, Anne Frank could not read anything. She could not watch anything on the television. She barely even talked to many people. Like she only talked to five to six people who were living in that house for almost two years. So in a way, her writing is very pure and very raw. And you will find bits of beauty, innocence, kindness, confidence, and even humor popping up in the most unexpected places. And in a way, this book also made me feel very thankful for all the privileges that I have, for the life that I have. And if you look very closely, her writing also kind of matured as you go on to read the book further. So all in all, I think that if Anne Frank would have been alive, she would have had a huge impact on the world, especially in terms of women's rights. There are many more other female authors that I absolutely love, such as Marjane Satrapi, Elizabeth Gilbert, J.K. Rowling, Agatha Christie, Jhumpa Lahiri, and many more. But the level of respect that I have for Anne Frank is just unparalleled. So this was me guys talking about my favorite female author and thank you so much Sonali once again for having me on your channel and I wish all of you guys, all men and women out there, a very happy Women's Day. Hey there, my name is Brie from Call Me After Coffee. I am so excited to be helping out with this. I was asked for some female author recommendations and one of my favorite genres is historical fiction, so all of these books happen to be historical fiction. So the first author that I have in the stack is Ruta Sepetys. I've read two of her books and I would love to read her other two at some point, but the first two that I have here are Salt to the Sea and Fountains of Silence. I really, really enjoyed them both. They were super easy to absorb. The second author that I have on the stack is Martha Hall Kelly, and she is the author of Lilac Girls as well as Lost Roses, and I really enjoyed both of these. And then the last author is one that was just a debut author from 2019, and her name is Nicola Harrison, and she wrote Montauk and I am not usually a fan of romance, like when a book is based around a romance, but this one is a historical romance set at the end of the 30s, pre-World War II, and I really, really loved this. It had some dark parts, some gritty parts. I really, really enjoyed the main character in this one, and I just loved the story. I couldn't get enough of it, and I read this one so fast. Anyway, thank you so much to Melodramatic Books for asking me to help out with this. I had a lot of fun. Those were my three authors that I grabbed for this little recommendations part, and I hope you guys all have a great day. Hey guys, my name's Ishi, and happy International Women's Day! So, one author whom I really admire, who is a woman, is Lee Bardigo. I love her books because they are the ones that kind of reignited my love for reading, and they will always hold a really special place in my heart. And I also really admire her as an author because I want to be a published author one day, and I really love her writing style, and I really look up to it, which is why she is an author that really stands out to me. And I read throughout all of high school and I never really found any like diversity in books. Like it was just kind of like the same old, same old. So when I read her books um, or when I read Six of Crows for the first time, I found a lot of diversity that I did not usually find in YA, which is another reason that her books really stood out to me and which is why she really stood out to me as an author. So that's something that I would also love to do when I write my books um, to represent different groups of people and I believe that she did that really well. So yeah, I'm just like a big Lee Bardugo fan and I'm not really someone who reads a lot of classics so I can't really say some of my favorite authors are Jane Austen or whatever um, because I have not read those authors yet, even though I really want to. Um, but yeah, Lee Bardigo is an author that I really admire um, and I really look up to her both as a person and as a writer. Hey, my name is Meera and I have a YouTube channel called Meera Nair where I talk about books and sometimes about TV shows. Today, on the occasion of Women's Day, I am here to talk about my favorite female authors. Just saying those words, female author, 
always brings to mind this one incredible writer and that is Jane Austen. I grew up reading Austen's works. Her novels are something of a warm embrace to me. No matter what mood I am in, they just always make me happy. Uh, during a time when women did not have a lot of opportunities, Austen paved her own path and I feel like her characters are symbolic of that. So many of her protagonists stand out and have the sense of strength, courage. They do not let society decide what's good for them. Because of which I feel like Jane Austen's novels will always have this timeless feel to them. You can take away so much from it. Another favorite author of mine is Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. Recently, I've been reading a lot of her works and I can see why so many people adore her. Even when she is conveying the most simple things in life, she does it so beautifully. I feel like her stories, her anecdotes are heartening and they settle on your heart and mind in such a way that you can never forget them. One thing I love the most in Adichie's writings is that her characters are never stereotypical or two-dimensional. Their experiences are so real and brutally honest. I've also read some of her non-fiction books and Suffice it to say that she has some very profound thoughts. You can definitely add a lot of value to your life by picking up any of Adichie's works. Last but not the least, Margaret Atwood. Margaret Atwood's The Handmaid's Tale became one of my all-time favorite novels right from the get-go. She has a way with words and her writing style is crisp, straightforward so that you know exactly what she's trying to say. My favorite thing about picking up a Margaret Atwood book is that I know every time I am going to be astounded by her creative genius. Her storylines have such depth to them and so many layers. There's so much going on in an Atwood book and I love that in her writing. I wouldn't be the person I am today without Austin, Adichie and Atwood's writings having influenced me and permanently embedded themselves in my soul. Hats off to them and thank you. Thank you so much for writing these words and sharing your stories with us. A very happy Women's Day to all of you girls and ladies watching. I hope you have a great year. Hi bookies, it's Meredith Mara and I'm here on World's Women's Women's Day today to celebrate some incredible female authors and I just thought I would share with you who some of my very favorite female writers are and I'm just gonna go by some of the women who are autobi authors for me so once one of their books comes out I automatically hit pre-order and buy that book so there are many more authors out there but let's just limit it to a few. Where those few are concerned, some of them are uh, Maureen Johnson and Holly Black, the absolutely incredible Emily Henry, who is perhaps maybe even my most favorite of authors. Although it's really hard, you know, <laughs> to call favorites. I'm forgetting someone. Karen M. McManus, yes, the author of One of Us is Lying. Why do I love these girls so much? Wow, Holly Black. I love for her ability to create these complex and layered characters who just completely intrigue me because they are neither good nor bad but operate in these morally gray areas and I feel like give you a lot to think about in your own life and where Karen M. McManus is concerned I love her ability to hook me from the first page and kind of break my brain trying to figure out who did it. Maureen Johnson is another one of those who is an absolute master and weaving this like multi-layered mystery that is just so complex that not for a lack of trying, I'm completely incapable of figuring out who did it, but I have the best time trying. And the thing is like, even though in these mystery novels, I never do figure out who did it. I still love it. Like I'm totally fine with that. And Emily Henry, Emily Henry. Guys, if you haven't read one of Emily Henry's books yet, she's got an incredible book releasing this summer. Well, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, then it's winter. It's called Beach Read. Her previous books are magical realism. So if you're into some YA magical realism, then you are in for a total treat. She's got uh, The Love That Split the World and A Million Dunes and When the Sky Fell on Splendor. And she's an absolute 
master at creating these fully immersive story worlds. So if you need like this complete escape into a fictional world, you need to pick up one of Emily Henry's books because she delivers. And then, oh my gosh, guys, how did I forget this? My favorite. Okay, guys. Okay, so I have a two, two joint favorites, Emily Henry and Maggie Steve Fodder. Because, guys, if you know me, then you know I've got like this complete obsession with the Raven Cycles. Like, I'm forever rereading the series. Maggie is a language setting character master. Like, she has this incredible skill of making her sentences pull double duty. Like, her sentences are never just character, like, they are character and mood. They are never just um, setting, they are setting and um, plot like there's so much going on and every time I reread her books I discover something that I missed and it's absolutely phenomenal and amazing and if you haven't re read the Raven Cycles yet you absolutely need to yeah anyway okay that's it for me and um, yeah I'm sending happy hugs from me to you and happy reading Hi, this is Niyati Thakkar here. You know me as the Bookshire on Instagram. And um, I'm here to talk about my favorite female author. And that is none other than Colleen Hoover. I love her and I love all her books. And uh, mainly because uh, her female protagonists and any kind of character that she brings up to has a different taste and different um, variety to it. And I really like the... Uh, the touch of her uh, real characters and once I have seen um, in, a, in an interview about her that she picks up the character from real life from anywhere that she walks up to you know she gets inspired from those characters and she writes a book on it and um, my favorite book from her is All Your Perfects because it's um, it's about marriage it's about infertility it, it's a beautiful book and um, there's there's forever and always i keep talking about it this book you know it uh, it gave me a sense of thinking that a woman should not be feeling compelled to be able to uh, fulfill all the dimensions of being a woman you know, it's it's not compulsory you are not defined by fulfilling all that is meant to be with uh, w which the society has defined you know so that's what has uh, led me to think that we women are beautiful and we women are um, extraordinary with the way we are you know with what we are and that's what should be uh, what our definition is you know of being a woman you know no no marriage can define me no no not being a mother should define me i should be able to do something that absolutely defines myself you know so uh, that's what this book has definitely led me to thinking i'd urge all you readers to give this book just one try because it's definitely worth it so happy women's day to everybody and hope you have a great day okay so now it's my turn as you know, I'm a huge Potterhead, like I talk, I go on and on and on and on about Harry Potter and how much I love the series and anything that comes out of it. So I can't not mention JK Rowling. Then there's Chitra Banerjee Devakarani, there's Angie Thomas, there's uh, Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie, there's Sophie Kinsella, Agatha Christie, Jojo Moyes. There's a host of authors who I absolutely love and my most recent favorite, Nikita Gill. And Tomi Adeyemi, like I cannot just choose one woman author who's phenomenal because there are so many who are and I absolutely love them. But yes, these are my, you know, top picks for authors who I absolutely love. I love JK Rowling's writing because Harry Potter was such a huge part of my childhood. It like i've spoken about how it has made me into the person that i am today it has made me a better person it taught me about friendship about love about uh the difference between good and bad and how not everything is just black or white there are also patterns of gray and that is 
okay you just have to decide which way you want to go she also taught me about loss about letting go about you know finding the positivity when nothing in life seems good and for that i will forever be grateful you know however much the person jk rowling changes harry potter for me is always will always be something that will define me and for that i will forever be grateful to jk rowling and then there's chimamanda ngozi adichie her books are some of the most amazing books i have read i have read only 3 of her books but she is one of my favorite authors because she talks feminism in ways that everybody can understand and i have always asked questions like you asked me as a girl to do this would you ask my brother to do the same thing it's just a small example but that's exactly what she says in the book and not only her non fiction books even in her fiction books she brings feminism to a point where i'm like how can someone write so beautifully and then there's angie thomas she has two books out uh, the hate you give and on the come up and both of them have such strong female characters and they are grounded in reality and chasing one's dreams and doing the right thing while being grounded in reality is something that i think everyone should aspire to then chitra banerji devakarni she writes so beautifully i've read only two of her books one is the palace of illusions which is a retelling of the mahabharata from draupadi's perspective and the second is the forest of enchantments which is a retelling of the ramayana from sita's perspective and she has given us such unique Pers uh, ideas about how it all transpired and what went on in the minds of these women and i am a sucker for such retellings and i absolutely loved how she wrote them and uh, which is why i will always 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 love chitra banerji devakarni's writing agatha christie the queen of crime i don't have to say anything else because every single book that she writes has perfection written in it it just blows my mind everything the way she ties the plot together and the amount of research that must have gone into it at that point in time it just amazes me and i love agatha christie and if i don't know if i've told you this but agatha christie was played a huge part in me getting my first job so my relationship with her will always remain special and then there's stormy adeyemi she burst onto the scene in 2018 with children of blood and bone and uh, Children of Virtue and Vengeance released last year and it was amazing as well and her writing is so lyrical so poetic so beautiful she embraces the you know human side of the warriors in there there's magic the magic system is amazing the way she writes it the way she puts it all together is just brilliant and i must say in her two books She has become a trailblazer of sorts and I admire her so so much. And then Sophie Kinsella her writing is easy the language she uses is very simple it's easy and breezy and with every turn of the page you're like what is going to happen and any time I want a book that will you know not be heavy on my head and my heart but it will still engage me i always go for a sophie kinsella book and i absolutely love her writing her books are entertaining and they're fun and for times in which you need some rest some relaxation i think there's no better author than sophie kinsella to turn to and then my most recent favorite who is nikita gill i cannot stop raving about her because of how amazingly she writes she's so her writing is so powerful it's so amazing like i'm using amazing a lot in this video as i always do but her writing is simply brilliant she takes fairy tales she takes stories of goddesses and turns them into tales that could have been but you are not sure if they could have been but you want them so badly to be like that like she shows the power of women in her writing in her poems in her tales and i absolutely love her for that she is my favorite author and i can i can say i can safely say that if jk rowling is here nikita gill is on on an equal footing with jk rowling and that is saying something because toppling or even coming close to a childhood favorite is a sort of a big deal so those were my favorite women authors who are your favorite women authors are they on this list 
Uh, is there anybody else who you'd like to mention? Also, what did you think of this entire video? Did you enjoy listening to the other amazing booktubers and bookstagrammers speak about their favorite women authors? Uh, do you follow any of them? Do you intend to go and subscribe? Which I highly recommend by the way. Go subscribe, follow, do everything. Show them the love because they deserve it and so much more. And if you have any feedback, anything to say to me, anything to chat with me, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Also, a big, big, big thank you to everyone who contributed to this video. I loved putting this together. I absolutely loved watching your views, learning about your favorite authors. And I hope that we'll be able to collaborate more in the future and because that would be awesome. If you like this video, please like it and share to spread the word. And if you like my content and would like to see more from me, don't forget to hit subscribe and click on the bell icon beside the subscribe button to get notified as and when I post new videos. And before signing off, here's a very, very, very happy International Women's Day to each and every one of you, especially to the amazing women out there. Celebrate yourselves and to everybody else, celebrate the women in your lives. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, keep reading, keep watching and add melodrama to your life.